team looking to get win number 21 and the 15th straight possible game at home. Well, that 4-4, the reason the Bucks are playing, playing as good as anybody. Giannis gets a piece of that off of the Bancaro offering. That's the matchup here to watch, the one that you were talking about. Giannis takes it all the way. Nothing you can do in terms of trying to root yourself to contest that, that A-train like running off the track. Coming off his second triple-double. And the miss and another rebound here to Giannis. Wins against Milwaukee on November 11th against the Pacers, against Boston, against Denver. Giannis starts out. Perfect three for three. Giannis yep. has got all six points to begin with. Brooke with the challenge. Pancaro's having a tough time against Giannis and Brooke. Pump fake there for Dane. Gives himself a clean lock to do that. A lot of contact inside. They're allowing a lot more contact this season. Del Carter Jr. Brooke with the baseball pass. Perfect placement to Giannis. Count it. This is actually two off of 1,300 threes in his career coming into tonight. And high off the glass over a pursuing Brooke Lopez, well, Franz Wagner. That's what Wendell Carter Jr. is on the floor for. Protect the paint, provide some physicality, some ruggedness on the interior. And Franz Wagner, finger roll finish. They missed, they missed Joe Ingles the last couple of games in terms of just handling the ball, distributing the basketball. Well, Wagner once again. Uh, Joe Ingles, he was like the mayor in the pregame, yeah. saying hello to his old teammates. Brooke Lopez, strong move. He plays you know, in terms of pushing the pace, his handle and transition. Plays smaller. Pump in for Cole Anthony. Drills the three-pointer. Bucks have been able to knock that, that open three-pointer down really consistently during this five-game. How about the hammer from Giannis? And once again complains. I mean, those calls are just not happening. Giannis, great job with the uh, transition defense. Gary Harris with the runner. And a block. I know I'm true to it. And I know I have people who watch me handle those struggles the way that I know I should handle them. Back to you, Lisa. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I love that. The, the fact that people who watch Dan can understand and appreciate his success. I kind of gave him a little group about that, but wind up as one of the 51st. 51 players to get the uh, 20,000. Oh, right on cue. Right on cue. Right on cue. Dane feeding Pat Connaughton. Giannis with the offensive rebound. It's poked away. And Cole Anthony doing his best. Chris Middleton impression and finding Franz Wagner for the dunk. Yeah, just just a, a, a cultural phenomenon. <laughs> Hall of Fame quality, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac has the end one. Hall of Fame and something. That's a great foul. Giannis will foul that away and telling you what, Isaac's may get dunked on before the evening's over with. It might happen just here. Giannis See, leading it. He may get dunked on. He may get dunked on. Well, Wagner only missed one shot. 13 points here so far. They're going Hans and Franz. Much, right. much needed three-pointer, Bochamp. Of course, Lopez is always an option. Never, Coach Griff decides to put him back in. Ooh, don't poke the bear. Got to choke the butters and play some tough defense. The Wagner brothers have been a problem. Franz Wagner continues to be a problem. He's got 12 to add to his brother's 13. His spot in the middle of the key for that little short jump hook. That's one of his pet moves. Cameron Payne had a good game November 11th against Orlando. Woo! Look out below Marshawn Beauchamp. A big time throwdown. Now let's see if that gets into the head of the Magic and they start missing some of those floaters and open jumpers they've knocked down. Speaking of floater, yep. Chris Middleton with the mid-range off the glass. Yeah, who would have thought that'd be your, your, your halftime talk? we got to deal with these Wagners. And they've only missed three shots combined between the two of them, too. So not only the 27 points, but efficient 27 points. Chris Middleton steps it back. He's got a three-pointer. Brooke Lopez pumping. And he gets it tapped away. Here comes Franz Wagner. Lays it up to Bancaro, and that's his first field goal of the night. Defense by Marjan on that play. Now it's go time. Damon and Giannis checking back in. So that's another. I went out on a limb when I said that, didn't I? <laughs> Dame, another three pointer. Follow through right into Bancaro's hand. That's why Dame was so frustrated as he was trotting back, talking to the officials. Bancaro and rolls in. His second field goal. Working on ball handling skills, shooting skills with Malik Beasley. Beasley shooting an all-time high from the three-point line. His first three here tonight. A good challenge. There's a screen by Brooke. Free yourself. Giannis gets caught. Between the backboard and the rim. Pat Connaughton, cleanup job. 
fact that he is, you know, starting in the NBA at his young age speaks volumes. Brooke Lopez straight down the lane for the two-handed jam. And the good activity on Vancaro. And giving him a little bit of cushion, and he knocks down the three-pointer. 37% three-point forward, basically, that's his matchup. So you get that, that big, big of a guy on the move, it's just tough for him to contest effectively. Oh, boy. Two-handed jam for Franz Wagner. Weak side defense. Giannis giving it up. Last second decision to Malik Beasley over to Chris Middleton. 1,300 career three-pointers for cash money. I wondered if it was only a matter of time for Orlando to, to get good. I mean, the draft picks that they've had, some of the, the talent that they have here on this roster. Giannis from mid-range. Houston is uh, another team that's benefited from you know, their struggles of late. Damian Lillard looks it off. Malik Beasley with the chance. Catch shoots and fires. He's got his rhythm back. Bees with his second three-pointer. Um, full force. Vancaro, that attempt rolls off. Giannis is double over. And count the bucket for PC, which I think should be back to them. Marjan, alley-oop to Giannis. He can't believe it. He, I mean, he thought he was pushed. The way he's looking at the officials, palms extended, so I, I believe he might have been. They can miss that dunk shot, so that's what the complaint was about. We had to look at it like 12 times, so the official... <laughs> Deep shot for Dane. The defender, you almost don't expect him to pull it from that range. Van Carroll missed poorly on his last one, but not that time. Moving as the Bucks try and maintain this 12-point cushion. Working the offensive class, doing his dirty work early. Cole Anthony leaning in, draws the contact on Pat, gets the end one chance. Cole Anthony working off the bounce. He fades it back. See, he's the guy. The Wagner brothers involved in this play. No setting the screen. Franz trying to wiggle his way in for two. In the fourth quarter, the Bucks slow start. Just one field goal. And no three-pointers. He is really tough right here. I mean, they're, they're doing middle, middle ISO. Oh, Wagner too strong off the glass. Here comes Cameron Payne. Got some choices. Giannis to his left. That's a good choice. He does that. Giannis now with another 30-point game. DJ Cronus kind of crunching the triple-double numbers for Giannis if it does happen. He did have three straight triple-doubles in 2021, if you're wondering when the last time is he went back to back. And the putback for Wendell Carter Jr. Giannis right at the block, couple of triples, and a jump hook for two. He's got 32. Game looking for him. With a missed time. 107 to 97. Franz Wagner pump fake. Van Caro. Franz fishing for something, finds older brother Mo. Really, really successful, efficient offense down the stretch here. Beasley with a foot game. Well, Anthony nearly losing it off the bounce. Inside 60 seconds left to play. Franz Wagner shovel pass again to Mo. It's become a tradition now for the Milwaukee Bucks to see him on the schedule Christmas Day. Franz Wagner with the flush. Brooklyn a couple of days later, then going to Cleveland. Gary Harris trying to put up another three-pointer, knocks that down. That's like Dame range. Right at the five serve mark on the court. And 118 to 114.